Hi dear viewers, welcome to this reading. Today's message is for Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. Um, and the messages are for everyone, for the whole collective, each and every one of us. Again, Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. And welcome everybody, welcome my dear viewers. Thank you all for being here. I'd love to take this opportunity to wish happy birthdays for those of you celebrating today. I wish you the best of the best and a glorious happy birthday. Those of you celebrating any other celebrations, I'd like to wish you the best. And everyone who is celebrating or not, I'd love to wish you all my blessings and all my best wishes. Let us begin to see what is the message for today. And it says, shh, and listen, listen. Quietude, in the quietude, listen to see what is being said. Let's have a look. I'll just take these away from here and put them elsewhere. Right. Um, it says, listen, let's read it. It says, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen. Listen to our gentle reassurances that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet, receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestations. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you, so listen. Wow, listen, I love this. Mm. Okay. Listen, because while you are quieting your mind and in silence, we do hear our higher self. We do feel like we are connecting and we understand that there are messages. You know, when you're thinking about something, like you're busy thinking about today, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to cook, what I'm going to make for myself, like or what I'm going to do for the family, whatever you're thinking. And then all of a sudden, a thought comes out of nowhere, it comes, and it has nothing to do with you or the, what you're doing, out of nowhere. And that's when you know that, it's your higher self trying to prepare you for whatever is happening. So always remember, now that they're actually saying this to listen, now messages are going to come and there will be a lot of synchronicity. So do pay attention. Let's take two important messages for September 3rd for everyone. And we've got activation. Something beautiful is activating. Your higher self has been trying to tell you perhaps. A lot of angels are around activating this situation. Something new, a new passage, a new path, a new something is igniting. It's going to overcome. You're overcoming one challenge. You're having a lot of peace and a lot is happening. Teamwork, collaboration, perhaps even business with others. It's just going to be spectacular for families. Something is activating something magnificent. Let's take another one. September 3rd and we've got new beginning with the daffodils absolutely gorgeous new beginning end of a chapter a suffocating one a very hard one it's ending and a new beginning is about to begin with the daffodils that's gorgeous absolutely beautiful now before I take on two messages I'm going to go through the six messages that are here that's why so we've got three uh, six messages you can ask anything they're for all of us but you can make them personal ask a question nominate any answer and you'll get something specifically and directly for you so think about it and while you're doing so you can put me on pause so that I, when I go through them you don't get to see them until you actually have asked your question if you're not ready yet so glasses on and I'm gonna go I'm gonna start now so you can pause it if you want starting with the first one let's see what the messages are okay here we go it says the bow which is you are highly thought of you are highly thought of so people are thinking highly of you they respect and honor you the next one says I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring this could be connected to this where somebody's really realizing that the connection is worth treasuring you are someone highly thought of this is connected to the Chinese year of the dog connected to November connected to 11 days from now it is connected to people that have Sagittarius or Scorpio or dealing with 11 days from now and November I'll put it over here the next one we have the elephant. The elephant is about spiritual journey and learning from the past. According to this card, it says gentle, lucid dreams, keep your wits about you, um, powerful, wise, and trust something trust matters. The elephant is also about intelligence, intellect. It is about easily um, remove obstacles. You'll be easily able to remove obstacles. There's support and telepathy. Connected to... Um, a lot of success coming your way, families thriving, um, a new beginning, which we have already here. 
um, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the tiger and the uh, cat rabbit. A for Antarctica, Alaska. And we've got people that are born on the 13th. Just like here we have people that are born on the 11th. I should say that too because it makes a difference. Uh, and 13 is also connected to the Chinese year of the rabbit. I said that also connected to people that have Aries in them, Pisces, uh, Aquarius and Capricorn. So 13 days from now up to two weeks for that one. Let's go to the next one. We have a dog barking. The dog is a friend. The dog is about the Chinese ear of the dog. The dog is also about a pet or a child. Advice needed from a friend. It's also about a loyal friend, a loyal lover, the dog. The dog has a lot of meanings. It is connected to November. Advice from a friend. It is connected to number 11 also. Um, advice from a friend, dog barking. Somebody wants to tell you something. It's a good friend, a loyal friend, perhaps. Well, how far can I put this? I can put it that much there. Okay. The next one we have, and it says, expand your concept of what a twin flame is. Expand it. Look at it like on a you know on a grand scale. It's more than romance. It's a deep soul activation to heal in order to embody love and light. A, soul, um, uh, a twin flame is also about learning from each other. Expanding your concept of twin flame. Yeah, we got the twin flame yesterday. Connected to the people that have Aries or Taurus in them. Connected to four days or weeks from now. Chinese era of the cat rabbit. And expand your mind about twin flames. Okay, the next one shows. I'll put that near the dog here. Like that. Okay. Uh, the next one shows the swans. This is about soulmate. So we had the twin flame and some of you. Yesterday in the reading we had twin flame and soulmate. So two different people different remember this is the collective so every collective everybody is you know dealing with either a karmic one or a twin flame or a soulmate so twin flame was talked about yesterday and today and now soulmate was talked about yesterday and today this is about soulmate and twin flame both this is about love and healing the letter a again for those of you who are dealing with the letter a antarctic alaska whether it's your name or the person soulmate is coming twin flame is coming have faith don't lose faith there is a pair. You know, you're pairing up, you're coupling up. Booming love. Love is booming. Healing is happening. The one. You're going to meet the one. Where is it? Here. The one. I think with glasses on, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Deep soul connections, divination, and fluidity. So, absolutely. And timing, we've got six days or six weeks from now. Beautiful. I'll put it like that. Okay. Now let's cut the cards, take one for everybody September, th September 3rd and look at this, rewards. We, this, is, this hasn't stopped this card. The Six of Wands, rewards, being paid for, being paid off big time for all your efforts, all your sacrifices, everything you've done, being recognized by the people around you, by your work, by your love life, your marriage, whatever it may be, but mostly by the heavens. Rewards coming and great victories are going to be yours. So I'll cut again for the second one. September 3rd and we got the four of cups not happy disoriented emotionally very very dissatisfied disconnected and bored you're not happy in a uh, emotionally you're not happy that's for sure that's what it looks like well maybe not everybody but maybe the majority that's why this comes up okay so let's take four important messages for everybody and see what's going on September 3rd we have the magician the magician is power you are going to have the power to be able to move things by magic, as though by magic things will fall into place for you. So that's really wonderful. And that is part of the reward system. The second one, something's activating. Don't forget, that could be also giving you the power to be able to do things. This card came and exactly was sitting here, I think. I think so, yesterday's reading. Um, the king, or maybe it was something else. The king of cups, somebody of... Um, Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We'll find out what about them. It could be this person that they're not happy. This water energy is not happy. Possibly. We'll find out. A new beginning that gives you a lot of understanding. Aha moments, epiphanies, and a great victory coming. So the elephant goes there. The bow goes a little bit here. Yep, yeah, we can see everything. Right. So, and the final one we've got. Wow, this has been coming a lot. The Four of Wands is about achieving your wishes and dreams, being very happy and feeling in gratitude for all the blessings that are pouring in. So you are going to be absolutely very, very happy. This uh, unhappiness is going to change to happiness. So that's great news. What you don't see happening, there is an ending. 
there is a separation and it could be connected to water energy possibly i'm not sure but there is also celebration so i'll take this and i'll take the celebration and you're resting from something that was very very difficult so we've got that let's see three more messages from another deck to see what else is going on september 3rd so the grieving the loss of someone grieving the loss of someone someone is leaving and you're grieving the loss maybe that's why you're not happy because you're grieving the loss of someone maybe grieving the loss of someone of water energy that is possible but happiness is coming so that's okay happiness is important and it's coming blessings are coming so it's good to know that there it is the four i didn't take it that was the last one the resting from a big battle coming to an end and you're finally understanding just like the ace of swords knowing why everything happened putting everything together empowered because you know clearly what happened and finally resting from a major battle so something wonderful is happening or something is getting activated that this is or something is ending actually the death card it's about ending and resting from a big battle and some of you are relocating or thinking about moving relocation the two of ones maybe for work maybe for other reasons but you are relocating so i'll put this one like that okay can we see all the cards yes we can what you don't see happening is the king of wands some of the fire energy that is very a strong energy of wanting to reach a goal and you are finally going to do so or a fire energy sagittarius aries leo somebody who's going to be very supportive and then we have the ace of cups wishes and dreams or rather the greatest gift from the heavens coming to you whether it's going to be the greatest love or the greatest gift from the heavens a greatest windfall it's happening it's coming that's what you don't see happening and coming maybe that's why you are celebrating because there is something um, majestic taking place and a lot of blessings are going to be pouring in once this happens so maybe something fantastic is hidden it's coming it's not yet but it is on its way right okay so let's move on this was here let's move on to the next level let's get some more uh, messages and then i'm going to clarify the cards so two messages september 3rd we've got the first one and we've got the cup the cup is about overflowing prosperity it is about whether it's full or empty you are going to be your accounts are going to be full it's about abundance and prosperity the next one and i'll read i'll talk more about this but celebrating celebrating something wonderful early retirement this is to do with celebrations have a look at that that's beautiful it could be about extra money coming in it's about mature investments celebrations you see celebrations just so you know there it is and it can be about early retirement a lot of money coming in overflowing prosperity giving you abundance to be grateful for that you might um want to celebrate or you might um have early retirement and there's no need for you to work anymore hard work stops because you've got all the money that you need so that could be all possible well, why is it that i don't see this anymore 13 okay that's better all right so yes that's that one and um celebrations okay so the 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 um golden cup is over about overflowing prosperity but it's also about um taking action taking care of business some of you could be thinking about having your own business some of you are early having early retirement to have part-time work that might be your own business that could be possible um there is careers that are to do with um a lot of uh, nurturing nurturing fulfillment this is about fulfillment this is about celebration this is about early retirement this is about um finishing work and resting some of you could be starting your own business doing careers in beauty retail you know little things you might open a shop somewhere and just work two or three days a week it's something like that so you are going to be quite comfortable let's have a look at two messages before i clarify everything for everybody and we have let your friends help you ask for help accept support from others this is a time to ask for help and and you know be happy to receive help support be accepting and the next one shows it says stay optimistic about your relationship about your love life because um, positive thinking will bring you uh, a lot of romance positive thinking so whatever you do don't let negative thinking stand in your way let's have a look at the message for everybody september 3rd right it says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone 
instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. This is about you really looking at things because preparing yourself for things that are coming to an end. Uh, preparing yourself for the end of a major battle. Oh, for goodness sake, here we go. Now, <laughs> I was trying to, to take it. I kept on peeling. Um, yeah, it's because it's time for you to end of chapter and rest. So take time out. Take stock of everything. Um, look at where you're at. What is happening? What needs to be? Because there is also, don't forget, separation is coming. Deception is coming. Endings are coming. Everything is happening. So there's so much that's happening. Have a look at everything. Take time out and think let's take it um let's go now clarifying everything especially the four of swords resting from a battle what kind of battle for the collective right you're able to take action and move wow there's the ace of cups finally you're able to move the greatest gift from the heavens is going to support you fulfillment in every area of your life and be able to take action and move you are also going to be resting this is all in regard to this right in regard to the four of swords resting from a big battle so the great heavenly gift, no matter what it is, whether it's the greatest love of all, whether it's a windfall, whatever it may be, this is going to give you the go-ahead to be able to take action and to heal and fulfillment in every area. So this was in regard to this, okay? So celebrations could be because something wonderful is ending. Not wonderful, something awful is ending. End of a battle and resting. Resting and being really happy and, and fulfilled and just, healing from the battle that you are in for those of you who were in a battle so yes that's incredible that's that one and um the next one yes see there you go suffocating situation comes to an end absolutely let's have a look at now we're looking at the resting part now we're going to look at this is part of what you're going to see coming the ace of swords the new beginning that's going to give you a great victory let's have a look the victory is when you're leaving a situation that is overwhelming you, there's trouble, feeling defeated, feeling unhappy, leaving, even though you might be grieving the loss of, sad, but you're going. The truth is setting you free to go to the next level where you'll be making a lot of money or a lot of money is coming, where you're living a life of wealth and luxury. Some of you could be retiring. This new beginning gives you a victory. You could be winning. Windfall could be here. Justice will prevail for you no matter what happens. Justice is going to be all in your favor. Let's move to the rewards, the six of wands for everybody. What are these rewards? Hard work is going to pay off and there's that celebration again. Now, some of you can be retiring. I feel like retirement here. Now, look, we've got three celebration, celebration cards, but I've got to talk about the eight of pentacles. Hard work is going to pay off. Big money is coming to you, but reaching your goals but also you've got to pay attention to detail when you're filling out any kind of documentation or calculating so there won't be any mistakes that's very important the other one which is spectacular is this early retirement you could be celebrating early retirement and this is also celebrating three times celebration celebration and celebration celebrating something major something big is happening whatever it may be it's big and there's the word celebration so you know this is a time to celebrate. This could be early retirement. This could be the greatest gift of the heavens, giving you the right to enjoy life free of, you know, worry. Nine of Pentacles, living a life of wealth and luxury. Due to this celebration, due to this thing that's happening, this greatest gift from the he heavens, God knows what's happening, but it's heavenly. It's absolutely beautiful when you get all these three celebrations intensifying the power of what you're given all the blessings that are coming in and the nine of pentacles living a life of wealth and luxury is there and all the gratitude that you're in so maybe that's why they're saying listen they're trying to tell you something big is happening something major is taking place and guess what while you listen they will show you or tell you that you are going to be celebrating your life major celebrations are there for you not one or two but major celebrations so that is incredible, truly magnificent. Yes. So whatever is activating, whatever the new beginning is, it is going to bring you a lot of celebrations. Celebration to the highest level and degree. Celebrations. The greatest gift from the heaven could be the one. Early retirement could be another. Celebrating something magnificent. But it could be all to do with a new beginning. That is bringing you all so much to celebrate. So that is great. So even though things are ending, but 
the rewards are going to be overwhelming celebrating and again justice again and again justice for you in your favor so if anybody's done the wrong thing by you you are going to get your justice so finally i'm going to go to the magician and see the magician what will the magician do it's going to bring the sun and bring you radiance and healing it's going to give you abundance in every area of your life success is going to bring you someone wonderful where you spend your rest of your life, somebody that will impact your life on a grand scale. It's going to elevate you, bring you a lot of success, give you sums of money, large amounts of money, your status is going high, you're getting a lot of victories, could be traveling, and so much more. M most of all, it's giving you afterwards what you don't see coming is a lot of happiness and your wishes and dreams coming true. So I'm going to take this one and a great victory. Let's move forward to the next level. And we are going to look at the Two of Wands. No, we're going to look at the Four of Wands, actually. All these blessings coming to you. Let's have a look. What are they all about? Right. Leaving a situation that was very difficult, you're finally able to go. And that is connected to the water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It seems like the majority of water energy are involved in this situation. So a lot of blessings are going to be coming once you were procrastinating. And then finally, you're not procrastinating any longer. You're taking action on leaving a situation and blessings are going to come as soon as you leave. So that is wonderful to know. Soulmate connection coming to those of you who are not happy. There is a soulmate connection, someone wonderful coming in your life. Let's have a look at this relocation, the two of wands. Let's have a look at the two of wands, relocating. Let's have a look. Whoops, here we go. It's at a time. This is connected to Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Have a look at your general reading for your own star sign. You'll know exactly who these people are, who the water energy is and who the Earth energy is. Um, a major rise in your money. Someone very supportive is going to be there. When it comes time to relocate, this is in regard to relocation. Somebody wonderful, Earth Energy, very supportive, very helpful. And a new beginning ignites, a new passion ignites. When this happens and... Well, um, a lot of money coming your way, extraordinary amounts of money coming your way where you will be celebrating a prosperous abundance of a flowing prosperity and abundance. Again, so much to celebrate, so much to celebrate and the sun there also shining through. With all this wealth that's coming, you are going to be in so much gratitude for all the blessings that are pouring in, absolute gratitude. And finally, the greatest gift of all could be a windfall that you're settling, you're retiring, and there's a grand rise in your money that you have to really start thinking how to invest, what to do, what kind of great life to live. So that's what it looks like. I mean, I know it sounds too good sometimes when, when it's this, uh, this much, but I also feel like for everyone, it happens in different timing. So for those of you who are relocating or connecting, to earth energies, you are destined for a lot of blessings. A lot of your dreams and wishes being ignited. A lot of blessings pouring in, in every way. Right, let's move on to the next one, which is grieving the loss of someone. Let's see, what is the grief all about? Okay, it is about travel. Somebody's leaving, and it could be earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It looks like it is going to be very challenging, but there is a victory also. But you are grieving the leaving of someone. For some of you, you could be there. Could be the, the one that's leaving could be Cancer, Water Energy, Cancer. This is a Cancer um, card, and this is oh, this is uh, Cancer July born, and this is the Water Energy. And we got the Water Energy twice, so it could be um, grieving the loss of a Cancer. That could be or Earth Energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but grieving the loss of someone. A new beginning, a new passion begins. So as the, while you're grieving, um, the universe is preparing someone new, a new passion. It's activating just like we have activation here. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. Sad, unhappy, distressed, very sad. The loss of. This is why you're grieving. There is someone that's ending. There is a painful chapter ending and a new beginning about to begin. That's going to give you a lot of understanding, a lot of clarity, a lot of Everything will be explained properly. You'll get to know exactly why everything is happening. And I feel like a new beginning that is going to give you a great victory and eliminates this painful chapter. That's why you're resting. You're resting because it was a karmic situation. So that's that one. Wow. That's amazing. Again, it could be connected to Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or there could be an Earth Energy coming in your life. It depends. Have a look at your general reading for your sign and you'll know exactly 
who these people are. So now we know why you're distressed and grieving the loss of because somebody is leaving and it's a car it's, it's been you know a connection, a long term connection. So it's not easy. Let's have a look at the King of Cups for the collective. Right, an area where you're defeated and grieving the loss of. You had no choice. There was nothing left you could do. Nothing in your hand. This is destiny taking over. You're grieving the loss of this person. You're feeling defeated that there's nothing in your hands. Absolute loss. Sad. Sadly, you're leaving. So this is all connected to water energy. That's what this is all about. All about this water energy. And that's what I was asking and that's what happened. I got twice the Five of Cups. Uh, it could be even a water energy that's leaving that's not happy. But there's no happiness in this situation. And water energy is connected. There's also earth energy here connected very strong. But there is also an ending. So the death card twice, somebody could be passing. When this doubles up, it shows that there could be somebody passing. There could be a cancer because we have got the chariot and two water energies. It could be water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's for... Uh, it's not for the majority and the death card the death card is transformation it can be death sometimes but since i saw the challenge there could be one challenge and then a chapter is completely ended and over and you are going to grieve the loss of that person but ultimately the ten of swords is also yes this is very deep sometimes when these unite like this it can be the passing of someone for some people for the minority not the majority remember that the majority is just transitions, leaving, separations, chapters ending and moving to new chapters. Let's have a look at the Chinese cookies. Let's see what they want to tell us. The most important one for you to remember is the happy part and the blessings that are coming and all the celebrations that were there for you. Two messages, 3rd of September, the collective. All right, here we go. Let's see the glasses. What do they tell me? Right, it says opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. We got this message yesterday. I remember remember very clearly, even though I forget everything. But <laughs> this I remember. It says, a stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action. Plus, a special family reunion looks likely. Wow, opportunity. Jealousy. Oh, my God. I think we had this too. Could it be? It says, watch, yeah, watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature and reconnect and replenish. But watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. But a stranger changing your life, that's very intriguing. Because we had exactly these two. And you saw I shuffled them right in front of you. No matter what we do, when they want to tell us something, um, the heavens, they're controlling the arena of everything we do. So celebrations to the highest level and degree and that is the most beautiful chapter in this uh in this reading the celebrations and all the blessings that are coming but someone is changing your life a stranger that's very intriguing when it happens please write to me about it i'd love to hear about it in the comment section i do um hope you enjoyed this reading do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think please see the video all the way to the end in support of me and please subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free and it supports me also i wish you all my blessings in every way namaste